Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Galant Bodybuilding. Mountain. So there's lots of ideas that I want to talk about or lots of ideas that I can talk about. Some days are filled with ideas and some days there's no idea. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so a lot of times, a lot of the random ideas that I don't think are good enough to put in a video, I put in the Patreon podcast. If you want to tune into that, the link is in the description and you can tune in for as little as $5 a month. And yeah, you get to listen to all the little types of techniques or little things that I'm doing in my training on an ongoing basis and uh, you know, little experiments and little challenges that I'm dealing with with my own body and so forth. But I thought it'd be good for me to make a video based on a comment that was made by a couple people. And you, this comment was, hey, Jason, you're looking really jacked lately. Holy shit, man. Do you see him? Man, that guy is jacked, man. He's jacked. I think he's bigger than you. Holy shit. You're looking like you're really muscular. Uh, what are you doing differently? What's going on? So some of you guys out there might think, oh, Jason looks like crap. Like he's not looking better than usual. And this is the funny thing about the internet. Sometimes I find some people say, hey, Jason, you look better than ever before. And it might be just the camera lighting at that time or the gym lighting that I'm in or whatever. And then other times I'll, people will say, hey, you look like garbage when I think I'm actually looking at my best. So <laughs> putting that aside, I'm going to say a couple of things that automatically make me a little bit more jacked than usual as far as what I'm doing in my workouts and my diet that naturally starts to swell me up a little bit. So one of those things is that generally speaking, I usually eat more carnivore-ish, meaning fats and protein are my main staple. I feel best when the foundation of my nutrition is coming from that and maybe some green vegetables, right? Like some broccoli or kale or, or whatever. And, and usually I'll have a little bit of carbs through the day. Like I'll have some carbs through milk. You know, I use like whole milk in my coffee and I, and I may have like a hot chocolate here and there, right? Uh, with sweetened with stevia. Or I may have a few pieces of fruit, like a banana in my protein shake and so forth. But the odd time I will carb up as far as I'll have more rice or more potatoes. Now, I've done lots of videos on this, but what I'm gonna say is that carbs do have an anabolic effect in the body when it comes down to protein sparing, meaning that the body does not eat the protein, it eats the carbs instead under certain conditions. So I find having muscles that are full of glycogen does actually help in growing muscle. So one thing I've talked about on this channel is that I'm not an either or guy, I'm just about what works, right? And of course, if you're eating too much fat or too much carbs, you're gonna get fat from either. It doesn't matter uh, if it's carbs or good glycemic index carbs or whatever. You may have a better tolerance. You may be able to eat more of the lower glycemic carbs and get away with it and just look more full instead of putting on quite so much fat, but still, energy calories or energy in that isn't consumed or isn't burned will be deposited as body fat. So one of the things I've done lately is I've increased my carbs a few days a week here and there. I'm not really keeping track in a log book or anything, but what I've done is, you know, rice and tuna for some of my meals or uh, rice and chicken or potatoes and beef or something. And I, I've just added that in a little bit after a little bit of a layoff from uh, starches or complex carbs specifically. So right away, as soon as I do that, I blow up for a day or two. I look much bigger in a t-shirt. I might look shitty in a photo shoot when it comes down to, you know, with my shirt off because it doesn't help me look leaner, uh, especially at the body fat percentage I'm at right now because it's, it's a little bit higher, right? Because I'm not really concentrating on cutting. But at the same time, it does give you that full look, right? So carbohydrates do this. Now, the other thing I'm doing has to do with my working out. I did take a bit of a layoff for about two or three weeks. It was about three weeks to a month actually of working out because I was dealing with an emergency situation with somebody close to me and I was helping them get through a health problem. And so my training went sideways for quite a while. I couldn't really train. I was 24 seven, uh, you know, making meals for this person and helping them out and whatever, you know. So all that aside, I took a bit of a layoff from training because I had to, because life happens sometimes. And so once I got back into training, the first thing that I do is I go into higher frequency type training, like whole body workouts, low amounts of volume, maybe two or three sets per body part. Sometimes I may even skip a body part once a day or whatever, but the general gist is that I'm doing a higher frequency type of program with lower amounts of volume, which is typically looked down upon in the bro split type of community. But I find for natural bodybuilders, higher frequency, lower volume, 
works really well in a lot of cases, at least temporarily for some people. Maybe it's not your long-term plan, but short-term, there can be some gains to be gotten there. Gains gotten. There's two G's in that. It has to be good because good starts with G. Yo, G. So from doing super frequent workouts, I get back in the groove really fast and the glycogen retention of the muscles comes back really fast. And after about three or four days of doing that, then I may start to go back to a two day split and doing five or six sets per body part. And uh, maybe I have a higher volume day or two as well. And I challenge one muscle group or I single out a muscle group I feel that needs the work at the time. Now, the other thing I'm doing is low bar squats. And I know this seems kind of crazy, uh, because people say, well, what's that have to do with anything? You're doing low bar squats. Uh, your form looks even shittier when you're doing low bar squats because you're bending over even more. And we all know that my squat is not a deep squat. I do the 90 degrees at the knee tops, you know, but that's the, that's the way my body feels right. But what happens is that when I'm holding the weight lower on my shoulders, I notice because I'm, I'm still using my elbows and internal rotators to keep that weight up, I'm working the upper back a bit. It's funny. It's, it's, very subtle, but I am working the upper back like the rhomboids, a bit of the traps and the shoulders as well, just holding that weight. And I notice that my, you know, and this isn't my goal, but, it, but it's happening by accident. I notice that my upper body starts to get a bit of a workout from my squat workout, which seems to be positive for building overall thickness. Now, I know this is going to be different for each person, but this is what's been happening with me. And I'm noticing that it feels not only better on my hips and my knees doing low bar squats at this point, but I also find that I'm getting a, a different anaerobic type of boost in the entire system from it. So that's why I'm doing that as an experiment, right? So that's mainly what I'm doing. That's what's happening. I'm sleeping, I'm eating uh, the same amount of protein as usual, but the odd day I'm doing more starch. Like every second or third day, I'm doing maybe a plate or two of rice. And I'm doing like, you know, rice and tuna once or twice a day and just carving up. And then I go back to my protein, make sure I get my protein in through my canned mackerel, through my tuna, through uh, red meat, sometimes beef liver, beef heart, you know, that sort of stuff. Mostly mackerel though. I'm sick to death of mackerel, but I, I feel so good when I eat it. I gag the entire time that I'm eating it, but I always feel really good when I'm eating it. And smoked mackerel has a high amount of selenium and has a lot of minerals in it, has a lot of high density lipids like HDL cholesterol, which is really good cholesterol for anti-inflammatory reasons and also helping with overall heart health and everything. And uh, yeah, I hate, I hate the stuff, but at the same time, it makes me feel really good when I eat it. So that's the other thing. So making sure my protein is at a certain level is, is very important. I noticed that when my protein is down to 100 or 110 grams in a day, the next day my pump is totally different. I feel more flat. But once I'm around 140 to 200 grams of protein a day, my muscles feel much more full and no matter how fat or lean I am, my muscles have a positive nitrogen balance where they look fuller and I have more reps in the tank when I go to train. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. At 49 years old, that's, that's what I'm doing and that's feeling pretty good. The other thing I'm doing is I'm stretching a lot uh, with the hamstrings and the quads and the hips right now because I find that that's also helping right now for some reason. A lot of other times I've stretched it didn't help, but now, right now, it seems to be helping with knee tightness as well when I'm squatting and doing a leg work. So I'll let you know how that goes in the long run. I will talk about this more on the Patreon podcast if you guys tune into that. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps you in your training, gives you some sort of understanding of what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, aside from some of the techniques I'm doing that I've talked about in the last few videos, this is actually what I'm doing in order to become super jacked right now. Motion. So thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot to the patient supporters and take care for now. Natural land.